really sounds nice now. Okay. Um, I would call this drum kit pretty well mixed now. And the only thing I can do now is uh, listening to the drum bus and deciding if there are some frequencies that need to get cut out before it hits the master channel or not. And uh, I can take a quick look what I did here. So uh, on my previous mix, I decided that the, the drum kit sounds a little bit boxy around the 440 uh, hertz region. Uh, let's add in this EQ and just recap real quick what I did here. Okay, so I realized that the that the snare sounded a little bit too boxy, in my opinion, when I listened to it with uh, in combination with the guitars and the bass tracks, and I decided that I that I want to get rid of this little boxiness. It it's you can hear it very clearly if you just listen to the snare drum. Gets rid of that boxiness. Let's into, listen to it on the whole drum kit sound. It's disabled now. Smoothens it out a little bit better. Okay, now the only thing what's missing is you can compress this drum kit sound a little bit. What I'm usually gonna do is I put on an SSL on it because SSL compressors are badass. And since we want a badass metal tone, I'm gonna put on a badass compressor on my drum bus. So, um, you can fiddle around with those uh, settings here a little bit. Most of the time, if you have not a direct ratio settings, normally I would, I would say I would I would go for a 2.5 to one ratio on my drum bus compressor. Um, I fiddled around with these settings here, and I decided to uh, to go with a two to one setting here. Four to one was way too much, and uh, 1.5 was a little bit too too little, so I'm gonna I, I went ahead and and uh, and chose the the two to one ratio. Attack pretty darn fast, one millisecond. Release is set to 0.3 milliseconds. I fiddled around between the 0.3 uh, setting and the auto setting. But I realized that the auto setting uh, created some artifacts that I didn't like, so I went for the 0.3 setting here. I got no sidechain high pass. The sh three shawl is set, so that the the compressor just touches the the drum sound a little bit. You don't want to squeeze it. You don't want to squeeze that sound because you already have your parallel compression bus within Superior Drummer. Uh, so um, just get rid of the the the, the peaks a little bit. So let's see what this compressor actually does. It does not much, but it helps to get a much more transparent and refined sound, basically. So the gain reduction is barely 2 dB, barely 2 dB. And that is...